through, um, through a miracle of um, <clears throat> a paucity of attendance, uh, the chairmanship has devolved to me for a very brief a fleeting moment in time. Which, and for which you have a conflict of interest because you're the next senator to ask questions. And I recognize myself for as much time as I might want to consume uh, on this incredibly important subject. <clears throat> um, so um, let, me, let me ask uh, you know, questions I've asked over and over and over again. Uh, because any comprehensive cybersecurity regime must address the unique challenges created by the Internet of Things, the IoT. And the Internet of Things includes all of the Internet-connected devices increasingly prevalent in our everyday lives, such as connected refrigerators, laundry machines, dryers, baby monitors, uh, smart locks, with as many as 75 billion, can I say that again? 75 billion Internet of Things devices projected to be in our pockets and homes by 2025. The the Internet of, of Things will also stand for the Internet of Threats until we protect this omnipresent technology from hacking and cyber intrusions. That's why I introduced the Cyber Shield Act with Congressman Ted Lieu, legislation to create a voluntary, can I underline that? Voluntary cybersecurity certification program for Internet of Things devices. Our uh, bill establishes an expert advisory committee uh, to create cybersecurity benchmarks for Internet of Things devices. Manufacturers can then voluntarily certify that their products meet these benchmarks and display this certification to the public with a CyberShield label akin to the Energy Star for energy efficient appliances that will help consumers identify and purchase more secure technology. I'm very proud that President Biden included a new Internet of Things labeling pilot program that mirrors my Cyber Shield Act in his May 2021 executive order on cybersecurity. Dr. Felton, do you agree that we should make an Internet of Things labeling program a permanent component of our nation's cybersecurity safeguards by passing my bill? Uh Yes, I think having a permanent uh, program of that nature would be, uh, would certainly be helpful. There's an old saying that um, the problem with many of these devices is you can't tell if it's secure by looking at the box. <clears throat> and um, having a label that can be on there that consumers can recognize um, and having people be able to count on that into the future would be valuable. Okay, great. And uh, Ms. Tamarello, uh, same question. Would that labeling program be helpful? Yes, absolutely. I think the fact that it's voluntary is appreciative. And then um, it would allow startups to compete on security and privacy by saying we are certified, um, which could make it easier for them to get in consumers' hands. So I appreciate the idea. Yeah. And energy style works. People could just see, oh, it's less expensive and I get less efficiency out of this, uh, this uh, uh, energy device as well. Or when you're buying a car and say, oh, it only has two stars for safety and I have three young kids, maybe... Could you have a car that has three or four or five stars here? You know, let me see it just so you can have that kind of transparency. Well, the same thing is true for all Internet of Things devices. People are just going to want to know, uh, and then they can make up their own mind. It's all voluntary, but at least they have the transparency of the information that allows them to make the decisions to protect their children or to protect their own privacy uh, by buying a higher standard. But uh, just leaving it to an individual consumer to figure that out is obviously ultimately going to be um, very difficult to navigate. Uh, and I'm also particularly concerned about cyber threats to children and teens' data, and that's why I uh, reintroduced my bipartisan update to the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act. The bill includes key data security protections to help kids and teens safely navigate the online ecosystem. Specifically, my legislation would require children's websites and apps to employ strong safeguards against hacks, require kids' connected uh, devices to meet robust cybersecurity standards, and require manufacturers to clearly communicate to consumers how they are protecting kids' data. So, Ms. Rich, uh, do you agree that we should enact heightened uh, cybersecurity protections for children and teens online? Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Dr. Felton, same question. Yes. Yeah, Ms. Tamarola. 
Yes, as long as we're not encouraging general audience services and products to collect more information uh, to try to suss out if they have children, as long as this is child directed, I think that makes sense. Child directed, yeah, Mr. Lee. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. And so again, that's why Senator Cassidy and I have introduced this legislation. Uh, we just carve out this special category of kids, provide them the protections, and what we do with adults, we'll see, you know, but at least for children, they should have that safe harbor, you know, to grow up and not be concerned, especially parents, of what's happening to their kids. So thank you. Uh, let me turn and recognize the senator from Florida, Senator Scott. 